Oh, I am Todd Lyshevsky, a co-author of this new book. came out just this month, October 2011, called Migrating to the Cloud. I worked for Oracle for about 15 years, and this book talks a lot about moving your data to the cloud, your application to the cloud, your infrastructure to the cloud, the different infrastructure options that Oracle has, such as uh, the database machines, database engines, Xlogic, Exadata, um, Oracle Virtualization Server, all great infrastructure to run in the cloud. But the one thing that I wanted to touch about just uh, right now, because I think it's one of the major issues that people are confronting when they're migrating their applications, databases, infrastructure to the cloud, and that's the issue of metering char and chargeback. So when you're running in a client-server environment, you're running on a desktop, um, you don't have to worry about metering and chargeback so much because you have a dedicated PC, you have usually a departmental level application, database, application server. And, and uh, what people have done in a client server environment is just sort of assume that the hardware would be pretty cheap and I can just control my costs because it's at a department or project level, application level. Well, what's happening when people are migrating, consolidating into a cloud environment is that we're moving from a single user type system um, into a shared environment. So much like we did during the 1960s when you had um, time sharing options and you had mainframes. Um, I think we're sort of going into an environment which is what's old is new again. So really the cloud we have right now, I would say it's cloud 2.0 because cloud 1.0 was the mainframe and companies such as CSC and EDS which offered mainframe time sharing. Um, having worked with for EDS, I, I realized that you do have to have a mechanism to do chargeback and metering. And uh, EDS used to actually have accountability for the developers down to um, really the millisecond on how much uses they were having of the disk environment, the DASD, how much uses of the, the central processor on the mainframe, how much MIPS usage on the mainframe. So now that we're moving into the shared services model, we need the same type of metering and chargeback mechanism um, for the cloud 2.0, for the next iteration of the cloud, which is based on open standards, based on Java, based on relational databases, uh, and in a lot of cases, Linux. So in order to do metering and chargeback, first we need to discover what the costs are. And so this is done by understanding how much database uh, t resources a, a person is using, how much application uh, resources that the individual or group are using or customer inside of a hosted environment. And then actually taking that information and maybe some of that information is even how much electricity is being used, how much floor space is being used, how much cooling power is being used. So go down to a very granular level and then capturing all that information. And the first step is usually doing what's called showback. So actually showing a department or a user how much, how much uh, compute resources they're using. In a lot of cases we're finding that people aren't ready quite for chargeback. And if you can show them what they're using, perhaps they'll reduce the amount of shared resources that are use they're using. The next step beyond that is chargeback to actually give that individual developer, user, department, customer, an actual bill to say this is how much compute resources you use this week, this month. So right now there's some, some companies out there that are starting up. Oracle is getting um, going to announce some products uh, around chargeback, uh, metering and chargeback. But the industry itself is, is really in its infancy. I think if you look at the government, if you look at some large customers, what's holding them back right now is not necessarily a fact that they want to move to the cloud. Um, databases like Oracle databases are not holding them back, applications, application servers are not holding them back. It's really, a lot of it has to do with metering and chargeback. So if you want to learn more about migrating to the cloud, pick up this book, Migrating to the Cloud on Amazon, and uh, look forward to, uh, to looking at seeing how this, uh, this metering and chargeback software um, advances in, in the near future.